In this video, I'm going to show you how to make or create tab islands in Opera GX. So over here, if you go into settings inside Opera GX, so down here at the bottom left, as you can see, the cog icon settings, click on that. And then if you search for island, there we go. As you can see, when you then press enter here, it's going to basically take you to the settings. There we go. Islands. There we go. Okay, so it says automatically create tab islands. Now, first you want to have this enabled. However, for some people, it's not working and I'm not sure why. So here, let me just open up three of these random tabs from Airbnb over here. As you can see, for me, it's not working. And for some people, it's not working either. So I haven't yet been able to find a solution for this. However, I found a workaround, which is pretty much equally as good. It's a little less convenient than the islands. However, it still works very well. So you want to go to settings, back to settings, and you want to type in work space there we go and then here we have an option saying enable workspaces and you want to make sure you have this enabled just like this and then here on the left you will have different workspaces so here is workspace one and then workspace two so if you want to add more or add less of them of course you can right click on any of them click on manage workspaces and in here as you can see you have different workspaces so here's one two you can add more I'm going to add workspace three, for example, you can rename them if you want to. And let's add four as well, just like this. OK, and now I have four workspaces over here. Now, whatever you're doing. So, for example, you're searching Google.com or whatever you're doing. And uh, for example, you are just scrolling around whatever you want to be doing. And then you can basically just put these tabs into different groups, into different workspaces. So as you can see, in my inside my workspace too, I have this uh, Airbnb group. So where there's like four Airbnb tabs. And if I want to move it to somewhere else, for example, to workspace one, you can just hold down your control key on your keyboard, click all of these tabs, they will kind of light in red, you right click, you do move to and then workspace and then workspace one. And there we go. There's now a red dot and it's been moved to workspace one. So you can just move this like that. You can give them different icons if you want to, you can switch them in between. And then of course you can start using it just like you would use the tab islands, which as I said, unfortunately, Unfortunately, are not working for me anymore and likely for you too. So that's pretty much it. That's a great workaround. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.